Hi, my name is John, and in this video we will talk about accessibility and this component is one of the most difficult to make accessible and in this video I will explain the parameters that you must take in account to make the tabs accessible okay tabs need navigate with the arrows okay if you press the tab key focus the select tab okay in this case the select tab is the first tab now if you press tab key you navigate into the content of the current tab okay you um, don't navigate with the tab to the next uh, tab uh, with the tab key uh, because the tab key navigate into the content okay to navigate through the tabs you need navigate with the arrows and to select the tab you set enter and now you can navigate into the tab with the tab key okay now uh, you can navigate now if i am in the last tab and press the next uh, arrow okay i navigate to the first tab if i am in the first tab and press the preview arrow i navigate to the last tab okay this is the way to navigate and enter and tab key navigate into the content uh, okay this is the way to navigate but we need add some attributes to make this accessible okay it's very very important for example uh, i will inspect the code because this um, attributes are very very important in one moment we will play with a uh, voiceover okay in this case uh, because i have a mac and um, you can see that this is one section and this is the section content the this section is a role tab list uh, it's very very important set the tab list because the uh, software take it is like a group and list group and this is the area label the area label is very very important because uh, tell the archer what this component is about uh, in this case this is a, a service tab okay and you can change this to describe the uh, tabs uh, now into the uh, tab list you have the tabs okay in this case are buttons and these buttons have the roll tab okay very very important roll tab to indicate to the archer uh, the number of tab uh, now it's very very important connect the tab with the content okay the panel and this case this is area control okay what is the area control uh, value is the content id now you can see now this is the okay tab content but in the tab content are the different uh, panels uh, for this you can see the first panel have one id and this id is the same to the area controls okay this is the way to connect one tab with the content you can see the uh, last uh, content this is the id and the last tab and the area controls have this id okay this is the way to connect the tab with the panel now uh, you can see that the panel have a roll tab panel okay very very important and you can see that this is the area label okay the the tab okay uh, the area label for this is the same of the name of the button you can see that this is the uh, primer tab title 2 tab 3 um, ultimo tab and you can see the area label is the same for this okay primer tab okay title 2 and uh, tab 3 and ultimo tab is the, the same of the name 
of the um, tab, okay? Very, very important. And now, uh, this is all for this, okay? Role, tab panel, and area label. This is the most important. Now, for the buttons or the tabs, this is very, very important. Roll tab. In this case, uh, the area controls, okay? To connect with the uh, panel. And this is the area select, okay? In this case, it's false, but the second tab is true, okay? In this case, is area select true, and the other elements are false. It's very, very important for uh, software, uh, in this case, voiceover. And Windows is other software, but work uh, the same way, uh, okay? Um, this uh, area select, and now this, the tabs, the index, okay? The tab index is very, very important. In this case, when the tab is not select, okay? When select is false, is minus one, okay? When is true, is zero, okay? And the other is minus one, minus one. It's very, very important. For example, if I navigate for other elements, you can see now I navigate for the menu and now navigate, I navigate to the uh, select tab. I don't navigate to the first tab, okay? This is one error. You need navigate to the current tab, not to the first tab, okay? Uh, this is very, very important and this is a error to navigate to the first tab, okay? I will play with a voiceover and now you can see uh, how this work, all these attributes. Uh, okay, voiceover. Main toolbar, navigation. Select an element in the page to inspect it. Toggle button. Zero one tabs. Template. Okay, web now content. This work. Leaving dev tools. Entering one tabs. Template. Web content. Title two. Selected tab. Group two or four. This is a service tabs. Tab group. You are okay. currently on a selected tab. Group two or four. Okay. Now you can see and uh, listen that is, uh, this is a tab group. Okay. This is a group. And this group have four elements, and the array label is this is a service tab, and you can change the array label and describe the uh, the tabs, okay? And uh, you can see now we have um, we are in the group two of four, okay? This is the tab two of four. Now it, you are currently okay because this is a select tab. And you now, um, you can navigate to the next tab. Okay, one moment. Title two, tab three. Okay, tab now group you navigate. Four. You are currently on a tab, group three or four. To select this option, press control, option, space. Now, uh, how you are in the current tab, okay? The three or four to select. Okay, control option space. Okay, with enter this work. Now uh, you are in to active and now you navigate into Link. I am the tab three, tab panel content. Okay, tab three, selected tab group three of four. This is a service tabs, tab group. Okay, you are now, currently on a selected tab, group three of four. Okay, when I out of the tab and uh, Okay, I link contact us tab. list five items tab and three now selected return tab to the tab group three or four. This, this is a service indicate. Tabs, tab group. You are currently on a selected tab group three or four. Okay, now you can see that this indicate uh, the name of the area label and indicate to the usher what is the tab. Okay, in this moment, and uh, you can see that. Uh, these uh, attributes are very, very important to make this accessible with the keyboard, okay, and the voice over and the voice software, okay, and the Windows on um, Mac, okay, uh, the voice uh, software is very, very important, and this is the way to make this accessible, okay, this is, Entering okay.
Divide I will disable spotlight, voiceover. Spotlight, voiceover off. Okay, for this, okay, to make the tabs accessible, you need a JavaScript code. Uh, but if you have fancy bricks, uh, our code is in the template in the version 2.0, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, for example, uh, I will. Okay, this is the, the template. To the template, okay, this is the accessible tab title, okay? This is a service tab, okay? Remember, this is the, the uh, area label, okay? This is a service tab, very, very important to uh, tell the usher what is the component about. And this is the code, okay? You need execute code rendered with a wrapper uh, and this is the code that make the magic and make this accessible okay and the other elements are uh, the same okay the tab panel and okay this is the attributes okay you can see the role okay this is the menu the button you can see the role tab okay and, and the menu okay this is the role tab list the area label okay big but uh, you can set the area label with this element okay is more easy okay and you only need uh, edit this very very important enable the execute code and if you need add other uh, tab you only need duplicate and the content duplicate the panel okay uh, don't delete because uh, these have classes and these have attributes and have some attributes of fancy bricks to make this accessible with the code okay and this is all i hope uh, this video help you and if you like please like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye